Valkyrie's Rage was released on February 27th, 2017. This set led us into the first ever KC Cup, defining the strategies that would dominate the early meta of Duel Links. Notable cards from the set include Pum Princess, the Princess of Ghosts, Soul Exchange, Jing Zhen Hu, Divine Wrath, and the new most powerful no tribute normal monster in the game, Dunames Dark Witch. In each episode, Axe Mango, Simpapi Streams, Mood Trapper, and the Law YGO will open a box of a core Duel Links set. We will each build a deck and play a single elimination bracket, crowning a winner who will receive a small prize to upgrade their collection while the remaining three receive a consolation prize. Each episode, we will all open another box of the next core set moving in chronological order throughout the history of Duel Links. Adding our pools to the collection and changing up our decks each week as new strategies become available. This is the Duel Links Progression Series. Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Duel Links Progression Series. For those of you who missed the last episode, what can I say? We're just that good. Uh, hopefully our luck actually continues. Uh, we're going to be playing against Moo Trapper this time. So considering the four map, this might go poorly for us. So our set this week is very interesting. Valkyrie's Rage was released on February 27th, 2017. For those of you who do not know, this is the format of the first ever KC Cup. We have historical decks that we can be working with to get an idea of what we're wanting to play this week. And if Mood Trapper looks over those lists, he's probably going to see a certain control deck in there that I'm going to have to be prepared for. But before we get into that, let's get into the set. We had no cards added to the public card pool, so let's just jump straight into the set. Overall, the set's kind of here and there on its actual quality but there are a couple of really standout pieces here. Divine Wrath is a counter trap for all monster effects. It is just really good for stopping certain pushes. Dunaim's Dark Witch is actually pretty huge. She's actually the largest body that we have on a standard normal summon now at 1800. If we pull some of her, maybe we'll use her, but otherwise we're gonna be stuck using good old Jerry. Sky Scourge and Rise is actually really powerful for Venus control, but I don't think we're going to be playing Venus Control as we didn't pull enough Agent of Creation Venus, and I really don't feel like going back and using my Gem Bank on that. Soul Exchange is actually really critical to a particular deck. Gravekeepers have been available to us since the start through Odeon and Ashizu's card pools. However, Soul Exchange is finally where they become viable. Because of a certain interaction and in how Soul Exchange works, Soul Exchange actually will let you tribute an opponent's monster to use enemy controller, meaning that you can tribute an opponent's monster to take an opponent's monster, then sack it off for your own Gravekeeper tribute monsters. That might be a strategy for us if we get multiple copies of Soul Exchange. Fiend Mega Cyber is decent as a beat stick in certain decks that need a little bit more power, but overall it's kind of here and there. Burning Land puts Weevil Burn on the table. Before we had very few actual like good burn options aside from Mask of the Accursed, and since we only had two copies of that, it wasn't really on the table for us. Burning Land solves two issues. Number one, it gives you more reliable burn so that you're actually going to be able to finish the game faster. Granted, it's burning both you and the opponent, but considering the fact that you're running other burn cards, generally that's not an issue. The second big thing is it takes out the most important counter to Weevil Burn, being Harpy's Hunting Ground. No one here has actually gotten onto the Bird Women yet but there is a strong chance that that's about to change, so Burning Land will be very important for that particular matchup. Similarly, Pump Princess the Princess of Ghosts is actually a really good stall card if you're planning on taking games to longer amounts. I'm expecting this might come up. Wild Tornado is actually really important as a card. At first glance, it's just a trap card version of Twister, which isn't that good, but it's the fact that if it's set and destroyed, you can destroy any other face-up card on the field. The reason that's important is because of the aforementioned Harpy deck. Harpy's Hunting Ground is a skill that is in its original state, meaning that it just starts face-up on the field. By using any Harpy Ladies with that, you can pop your own Wild Tornado and that turns into a monster removal, which is really, really good. Last of the higher rarity stuff to talk about, Jing Zhen Hu is just another version of Sergeant Electro that we have access to. It'll probably get outclassed here in the near future. 
A couple of other cards really quickly worth mentioning. Hero Shadow Scout is actually very important for us in particular because we pulled Warm Worm at three copies. Because it's a rare, I don't see any issue with us getting a full playset, and we will have Worm Mill online as soon as Chaotic Compliance. Skull Lair is also a very good card for side decks specifically. With Relinquished being as popular as it's gotten in our card pools, Skull Lair is the only reliable removal for Relinquished specifically, able to banish any one monster from your grave and just pop it. Although now that people know about Interdimensional Matter Transporter, this might not be as reliable. Bank plan is really funny if you're wanting to run specifically cards that flip up and down, up and down, like Guardian Statue, so that might be a problem. And with all that said, I believe that covers it. Valkyrie's Rage is a very unassuming set on the surface, but can be very powerful. With that, we're actually going to go ahead and jump over to the pack simulator and get cracking to see if we get lucky. Valkyrie's Rage is probably the most accurate title for, for, for a box because I'm about to get so much rage opening for this. So first pack, do we have Dynamis? Nope, we have, do we have what I am. I am a very unhappy girl right now. Right, first pack. Skull Knight. Future, we don't care about that. So our goal is to get Divine Wrath and Nobleman, um... Uh, of extermination. I don't know if I want any of the other cards. I don't really care about them, I don't think. All right, episode five. I'm gonna be jumping straight into it because there's only two cards that I want, Dark Witch and Divine Wrath. If they're at the bottom, so be it. I'll reset instantly for either. Everything else is just free game. Everything else, whatever. Let's go. Well, did a 10 pull, got Divine Wrath and whatever this is. White Horn Dragon. Uh, and and a Mega Cyber? Whoa, yo, that's a reset instantly. Let's start. There's not a whole lot in this pack, so I mean pretty much everything that good that you want is very small. Okay, so we got a burning land. We got a burning land, that's good. Uh, we really only need one to make that deck work, so we were pretty guaranteed to get that. Uh, the only super rare that I actually really want multiples of is Wild Tornado, and I'm going to be fine if we only get two of that. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. Such a good effect, just if only it wasn't a spirit monster. We got the Divine Wrath, let's go! Alright, if we get the Nobleman of Extermination, we're resetting. Uh, so that's one of two. I don't even care about the other nonsense. Contract with the Abyss. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, actually. Yo, we got the Abyss! Yo, going into every deck right now. But seriously, where's the Nobleman? Divine Wrath, do we reset? Is this a reset? We got Divine Wrath, that's huge. I don't know if I value Nobleman of Extermination that much to go through this box. I think I want to reset. Yeah, let's reset. The Fiend Mega Cyber. Okay, so that's not one of the chase cards in my opinion. And for me, the chase cards are Divine and Nobleman, but that card is still huge. I like it. Okay, okay. In no world am I ever going to play three Mega Cyber, right? No, because there's a chance that I get the second Divine Wrath. I'm not going to hurt that. First Nobleman. I know Cyber Angels can play two whenever they came up, but I don't really want to play Cyber Angel. I kind of just want to pretend that meta happened and move on from there. At this stage, we're a little... Yeah, there's our second Burning Land. Um, at this stage, we're already about a fourth of the way in, and we haven't pulled any of the other cards that we really want outside of Burning Land. I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be a reset day. It's just going to be a just run through the box until we get to Wild Tornado kind of day. We're already almost halfway through our pack opening, and we haven't even pulled a single Wild Tornado yet. Or Soul Exchange. Or Divine Wrath. There's Azura Priest. That's actually one of the least useful ones we could pull. Pump Princess. The Princess of Ghosts. I forgot about this card. This face up card is destroyed while in a monster zone. You can place it face up in your spell trap zone as a continued spell instead of sending it to the graveyard. The original Crystal Beast. While this card is triggered as a continued spell card by this effect, during each player's standby face, place one pumpkin counter on this card. All monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack and defense for each pumpkin counter on this card. That's a really annoying card, actually. <laughs> I may as well just go for a soul exchange as well at this point. Speaking of, there's a soul exchange. <laughs> All right, we got that. Still no nobleman. 
And the third copy of White Horned. What about the URs, dude? A fourth copy of Wild Tornado. We didn't get a single copy of Zing Zing Hu, which is an insane card in this set, by the way. I would love to pull multiples of it. Nobleman of Extermination. Nice. That's an awesome, awesome pull. No shiny stuff. Oh, we got a UR. What was it? It was Dimensional Alchemist. What does that do? Now the question is, do I keep digging for the second Divine Wrath or do I reset for the... No, we're not resetting. That's stupid. And there's our second Wild Tornado. So we have a choice here. We can either go ahead and reset and go for a third Wild Tornado or wait it out and try and get either Soul Exchange or Divine Wrath. At this point, I think the Soul Exchange dream is dead, but the Divine Wrath is still going to be useful for us later on. Uh, just... Monst having the ability to counter trap monster effects is really good. I think we're going to hang in there and hopefully get one of those because we have about 53 packs left. And a third wild tornado, while good, is not necessarily as critical as having um, Divine Wrath on hand. The system of opening packs sucks. There we go. When <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, with seven packs left to open, we got the Zig Zen Who. We could try to open for the Mirror of Yata, but I ain't as spicy as Potentius and Poppy. So in our seven packs left, we're going to reset the box and then see what we get. We got a Wild Tornado, baby. Three of them. <laughs> Fine, I'm a blast, of course. We got a third Wrecker Panda. In terms of Ultra Rares, we got one of everything. <laughs> it's, that's upsetting, but I mean, we take that. It's better than zero of anything. So uh, uh, back to you, uh, whoever the next person in the scene is. Once per turn, you can activate this effect to remove from play the, the top card of your deck and give this card 500 attack until the end phase. When this card is destroyed and sent from your side, to the grave you can select one of your removed from play monsters and return to your hand it's 1300 attack only though okay down to our last 1000 and oh we got divine wrath it's a reset it's a reset baby it's a reset let's go let's go if we can pull third divine wrath with our remaining 1100 gems this is gonna be huge I clicked too fast. I might just reset. Or a small chance to get three of these, two of these. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. There's our first soul exchange. Okay, that's cool. Um, At this stage, soul exchange came way too late for us to consider resetting. Uh, we're going to try and grab that divine wrath. And if we get it early enough, we'll reset, get a couple packs, see what we can get from that. Mm, and we still don't have a single Zing Zang Hu. At this point, we may as well just open for that as well because that's like actually a really good card. While Tornado is here, this is this is just like Duel Links. This is why we don't play Duel Links anymore. <laughs> like, imagine if I didn't have these gems. There's a double bit of extermination. Zero Zing Zang Hu. So even with all these packs left, I'm not guaranteed to get uh, Ultra Rare with the reset. So we're just going to keep on going and go for the double guaranteed Zing Zang Hu instead. That's the final pack. And that's it. That's going to end the back opening. Not the monster I need. Come on. I didn't get it. Oh. Okay, it's not Divine Wrath. Alright, well that's fine. Two Divine Wrath. One Witch. Two Mega Cyber. And an Extermination. Yeah, I'd say we... We... We got away with murder. That 10 pull early shouldn't have happened. I'll take it. Let's go. There's Divine Wrath. <laughs> oh my gosh, with two packs left, we finally pulled it. So, uh, yeah, I get... Oh no, we're gonna miss our second adhesion trap hole. Reset the box. We get two packs. Can we get anything decent? No? No. 
Okay, well, it's about kind of what I expected for this. It's been about 20 seconds since the last time I've said it. So, YouTube, welcome to the next episode of the Progression Series. And we are playing, that's right, a brand new deck, courtesy of Valkyries of Rage. The new box releases wonderful ritual support in the in the, in, in the guise of Sonic Bird and Sendry of Thousand Hands and Relinquished and Black Illusion Ritual. So we're going to use all these new cards so we could show just how much the power level of the game has increased substantially since the latest set. Now that I'm done with this very unfunny gag, let me tell you about the actual deck, which is basically my deck from last episode because I, I just opened the set and I, I don't know, I, I got cards that I was like okay with, but I didn't really resonate with any archetypes, so I figured let me just use the deck that's been working for me ish for the past few episodes. I already have it made, so I don't have to think too hard. And I could just add in some text so I could pretend like I'm playing new cards. So that's what we did. We added Dunabas Dark Witch because that's an ultra rare, so we gotta play the ultra rare. We also added the Nobleman of Extermination because that's our best back row hate that we have so far. And then we have Zing Zen Hu as well, which is their potentially highest ceiling back row hate that could be really helpful, especially now that with the release of some newer cards with the latest set, there's a lot more power in burn strategies. And you usually don't see me play burn too much just because I never really was a burn player, so that's why I opted not to play this. And But knowing just how annoying and strong bird strategies can be I figured it would be at least strong, uh, helpful to be able to have at least some kind of out to it. and the only problem is the fact that this does require the opponent to have two at least two set spells or traps in the field so it could be a dead card in certain situations but I figured it could be really helpful as like a one for two essentially though it can be hard countered by like a twister for example so it's not it doesn't like just win the game on its own but at the very least I figured like being able to stop like a press the back row and then go for power plays would relinquished and even just Jerry Ban Jerry Beans Man and Dinamis beatdown hell even Sonic Bird and Sedgy beatdown this is the way so for our extra deck, it's going to be another one of the same joke where I talk about the ridiculous situation of my opponent having fusion gate and then the two specific fusion materials for either of these fusions to be able to make it. And for the side deck, we play Wild Tornado and Storm, courtesy of Sleeping Steelix for suggesting the combo, where we could use Storm so we could pop Wild Tornado so that we could pop a face-up card on the field so that could be allowed that could allow us to destroy a face-up monster, for example, with Wild Tornado while using Storm to destroy a, a backer that the opponent has non-targetably. So it could be more a powerful backer removal. Now, I, I put it aside just because like it is a two-card combo and Storm could be a little hit or miss in terms of its value in the deck but it could be really strong just to blow out like certain like back or heavy control decks and even with like relinquish for example if it has an opponent's monster equipped onto it we could like then use storm to pop that equipped monster so we could pop the opponent's back row and then steal another one of the opponent's monsters so there's some semblance of stonks involved in the combo it's just you know whether it's worth it i don't know man but we, we pulled three wild tornado and this is a new box so we have to show off the new box and that's my deck and hopefully law loses that's all i can say about that YouTube. Okay, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the fifth episode of Duel Links Progression Series. It has been a while. I miss you all, and I miss this series. Now, since I miss you guys, I, get, I gotta give you something special. You know, it's something, something juicy. So we are playing Duel Standby, Free Errata, by the way, Burn. We are playing three Mask of the Accursed, three Burning Land, three Goblin Thief. Three cup of faces is not limited. One golden apple to stall, and then one a, a bear so we can burn for 1k. Well, it's a coin flip. We don't know if we're gonna burn, but hopefully burn. And then three restructure revolution. Shadow scout goes with restruct restructure revolution. We basically flip up the shadow scout, give the opponent three new cards. Hopefully they don't send any to the grave, and we restructure them into game and base ca best case scenario. For the side deck, I'm just going for level manipulation. We have Possessed Dark Soul, which says you can trigger this face-up uh, card, take control of all face-up level 3 or lower monsters. So if we, if we have Axe Mango again with Relinquished, we can yoink that Relinquish as swing for game. So this is a side deck card, and then we have the level 4 four-starred Lady Book of Doom. If somebody is playing level 4 beatdown, I don't I don't think anybody will, but just in case, we're gonna use that. Since we don't have a lot of space to switch out cards like we don't have a lot of cards to remove we, we're just gonna stick with this with this um type of side deck and this is gonna be it we're gonna be clapping if i win this episode with this deck i'm quitting uh, the uh, progression series and i'm quitting the links thank you for watching
Let's make this fast. I pulled Triple Gravity Axe. I'm going to play Triple Gravity Axe. How can I do that? Uh, best card, obviously, Shadow Slayer. If all monsters your opponent controls are in defense, this card can attack directly. How are we going to do that? We have Earthquake. We have Sphere Karibo, Windstorm, Curse. We're also running Parasite Infestation to bring out Jade Insect Whistle so we can get a little more burn damage. We have Panda to Pierce. We have Blacksmith to Search. And we're side decking two Yomi. Might come up, might not. One Twister. Feel like I should be running two. Whatever. And two enemy controller just for more manipulation. I Do I think it's going to work? Who knows? Um, we'll probably play something better next episode. Sorry in advance. We're playing Weevil Burn this time. For those of you who don't know, uh, the idea of this deck is to use the skill Parasite Infestation here in its original state to start the game by shuffling one to three Parasite Parasites into your opponent's deck. And then when they draw them, A, they lose their draw for the turn, B, it puts an extremely weak body in defense mode on their field, and C, it burns them for a thousand. So the rest of our deck is going to be based on a control game plan to where we can win via the burn damage. So kind of a quick overview, skills Parasite Infestation. We're playing two Big Shield Gardena because if you attack into them, you're going to take a lot of damage. Gyakugai or Panda is extremely useful for closing out games. He can hit through with a Parasite, so a thousand damage from the Parasite plus however much damage from the Panda, really useful. Inaba White Rabbit is just for poking direct to get in that extra bit of damage. Cocoon is an amazing wall right now. No monster that is non-tribute summon can get past this currently. Blacksmith Kotetsu is because we didn't pull three copies of the Cursed. We're going to have to make do. Sphere Karibo is Sphere Karibo. Jade Insect Whistle is to burn our opponent's draw for the next turn, plus deal a thousand. Really useful there. Econ is Econ. Twister is Twister. Burning land is very specific, so this is to deal a little bit of extra burn damage and to also counteract Harpy, just in case someone decided to bring the bird women to this fight. Mask of the Accursed is Mask of the Accursed. Unfortunately, we only have two copies of it, but 500 burn a turn plus a lockup is really useful. After the last episode, I will be running Windstorm of Otakwa anytime I can. This card is amazing. Moving into the sideboard, we have two Pump Princess, the Princess of Ghosts. This is really useful for just stalling. Don't know what to say there. Twister, once again, we are playing Twister here because I do not want to get caught out by a similar strategy. We want to be able to remove uh, Mask of the Accursed before they start locking us up. And then Skull Lair is specifically because I just have a gut feeling that someone is on Relinquished. Most likely Mango, if I had to take a guess. So, Skull Lair is a one-card answer to Relinquished. Banish one monster from your grave, you destroy the Relinquished, it's over. With that said, uh, first match is against Mood this week. He's probably bringing some kind of a control strategy. If I had to guess, I'd say Statue, so we'll see how that goes. Whoever wins, as long as... Law loses, that's all that matters to me. That's all that matters is that Law loses in the end. Because mm. I have nothing to lose. I don't want a game yet. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, so time for everybody to complain about me toggling for too long because I'm scared to play <laughs> Omega. <laughs> Parasite infestation! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright, uh, so it's time to get Sonic on board. Activate so we can search the ritual spell and uh... <laughs> We pass. <laughs> Let's go. Best deck. <laughs> no back row means uh, not having to worry about anyone complaining about me toggling for too long. So that's good. Shard of greed. My man's playing Master of Endymion Pendulums, getting all the spell counters. I mm, I have two choices here. I can pass, which, mm, or I can go for it. I am so scared what Gopher it means. <laughs> Add one ritual spell from your deck to your... Mm. Are we talking about my <laughs> card? <laughs> or are we talking you about somebody what? else's card right now? You know, I think I'm just going to do it. What is that? What, and I equip what is, Gravity what Axe. Is, oh, no! <laughs> are you attacking directly? Is this card... Is I, this I unfortunately is, can't. This card can attack. Oh, you can't because I have an attack with a show. But I can get rid of your dude. Uh, unless, unless, do it, do the sphere. We're spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Man, that's broken. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and activate the Black Illusion Ritual. I knew it. I knew you had it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that we can vanish the sphere in the graveyard. <laughs> so we can summon the Relinquished in attack position. Activating so that we can then steal your... My boy. Your boy. We don't get the equip benefit, unfortunately, but we summon Jerry Lean's man. Go to battle phase. Does it go through? Uh, this one does. And this one does. Hmm. Mm. I wonder if giving you a certain graveyard will help your ritual strategy. Will Man. it? <laughs> <laughs> this one might be as uh, over as soon as Moods was. Moods. That game was over in a blink of an eye. Yeah, that I was like the quickest game. <laughs> on the same route. All right, so end turn. Man, as soon as I saw the gravity axe gnarl, I panicked. Because <laughs> I know there's like, there's like, a few, it's been coming up in a few metas throughout like early to mid Duel Links where it was just like an OTK cheese, I feel like, with direct attackers. I think I lose. It's already over. Okay, so next round. Yo. <laughs> the out of three. Uh, Wait, I have a defense position monster though. <laughs> yeah. they, so funny Don't thing go about out without card, a fight. They all need to be in defense oh, position. Oh, all One monsters. Card, right? Early duel links, am I right? Early duel links. And then like, I can't take out the relinquished because he just <laughs> destroys the monster. I get rid of Sonic, maybe. There could be a sphere in hand. Oh, you had it's two open. gnarlies. All right, let's see. Don't go out without a fight. Nah, someone has to die here. I had nothing. I had nothing. At least it was a casualty, I'll tell you. <laughs> sphere is so good for this deck. I always forget yeah. second effect. Everyone forgets second effect Sphere. Yeah, honestly, if like in a normal situation, I probably would have taken that hit, but it was just like, it was just too much value. Um, in being able to use that sphere for like two purposes there. So like in this getting value in like this stage of Yu-Gi-Oh is like wild. <laughs> All right, so we put this. Wait, wait, we can't change battle positions. <laughs> wait, what? we can't change battle positions. <laughs> Yo, this card is broken actually. <laughs> Uh, but we, it's all right until oh, we topic yeah. though. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so we'll take that and yeah, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh, I it's, almost hit that face. Yeah, <laughs> it it Gnarly, works against not relinquishing. Gnarly's kind of like <laughs> kind of broken because I can't relinquish more than once as long as I control the equip card. Well, that's actually really strong. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna have to parasite infestation. Okay, wow. Okay, this is a uh, this is interesting. We're gonna normal summon. All Activate. Right, so you you got the boy. Any response? We're gonna set. And we're gonna regret. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I wonder what that. Mmm, that back row is kind of suspicious. What? The, what? <laughs> Suspicion is just a social construct. We've we've been genetically designed to feel fear. Oh my god! All right, oh we're just gonna do that and pass. Okay. All right. Uh, that's that is a hand. <laughs> All right. Uh, your battle phase. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Send your feet down, baby. <laughs> yo, sphere. I'm no. gonna have to sphere, Karibo. Oh no, I want that sphere. <laughs> Can I have that sphere? <laughs> Can Black Illusion Ritual be like invocation? <laughs> Banish reminder player's graveyard? I think that was a mistake. Not, nah, didn't matter. 
I don't think we have mistake in the game yet. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> Bro, this shard of the greed or shard of greed is actually like giving me panic right now. <laughs> yeah, don't let it go off. Make sure to uh, hit it with uh, your back row twister or whatever you have. Freaking Shadow Slayer, the freaking mad lad. <laughs> Are you attacking directly, though? You can actually attack directly. That's kind of wild. <laughs> but do you? Oh my god, the mad lad goes for it! Okay. Shadow Slayer broken! <laughs> Shadow Slayer OP. Oh my god. No, I just don't trust that back row. You're a little too happy right now. Okay. Something's okay. up. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I gotta do this. Yeah, yeah, just hit me with it. You got the boy. You got the spell, don't you? I got the spell. Uh, oh, wait. We're chaining. Pop. Oh, no. <laughs> you hit my twister. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that's not how Yu-Gi-Oh works. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. I thought I was going to be able to use both effects. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yeah, okay, that would have been too broken. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to, like, pop three. Thank I was like, God, I'm about to do the works. craziest Duel Links play of my life. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I, that's that's fine, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, normal summon. There's a response. I think. Man, am I gonna go for it? Windstorm of Vitaqua. Oh my god. All right, I gotta do something nutty. Don't tell me you have it as well. Oh my god, you have it as well. Activate. I knew I should have. Relinquished. Music. Relinquished. Activate. Steal. Battle phase. All right. <laughs> I'm mm. basically screwed to another Shadow Slayer gnarly, though. <laughs> I think, yeah, Math and Matt and, all right, well. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right. Oh and the parasite. my god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And the parasite. <laughs> That's so Let's go. mean. <laughs> I wasn't even going to summon this extra monster. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. You want to know what's funny? You, you could have just ritualed it off. That is true, actually. Because <laughs> like, so it, it literally has any level. <laughs> All right. Do I play around uh, curse? Or, well, curse doesn't matter. Do I play around windstorm? I mean, I wouldn't have lethal anyway. I guess I could... Just put everything in attack in case you have econ. I don't know if you play econ, but I, I think that there's no reason for me. I mean, I can yeah. fear this, but yeah, like... that's true. <laughs> All right, and does this go through? It unfortunately does. That was a set earthquake. Oh my god, that's actually so spicy. Okay, I get why Moon and Law were, we're team. <laughs> we're team. Hey, for as long as the that Law makes doesn't sense. win, we're good. That's Listen, what... as long as you don't win, Law. No, we're chilling. <laughs>so how that set treat Are you yes. ready? <laughs> oh, that that let me tell you that this set is impressive. It's it's full of awesome cards for the future formats. But I'm I did not pull what whatever cards I wanted. I I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you. I did not get good pack uh, luck, and I literally just took my uh, one pass of the box and called it a day. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Check this out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Wait, you're playing Infestation? <laughs> Welcome. No. Welcome to the Degenerate okay, Hours. <sighs> Freaking Tay. Okay. Yeah, right, right. Ugh, freaking Taya Burn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep, no, this is going to be a fast one. One of us is going to die very quickly. Very quickly. I'll start with this. Let's start things up with a quick burn and pass. Uh, okay. Um, 
Hmm. I think. What do you want to do here? This is mm -hmm. awkward. No matter how I how I cut this, uh, we're gonna start with Inaba White Rabbit. Wait, what is that? Do? It can attack directly, and it comes back to my hand at the end of the turn. That's it. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Two and go to battle. I'll take the seven hundred gladly. Also, I would like to note it's not an option. I have to attack you directly with it. There is no other oh. option on this card. That's lovely. It, it's a fun interaction. It is. Now, let's go for the more fun interaction. Uh, I'm going to start with Shadow Scout. Yeah, Shadow. You're going to draw three cards. Yeah, Shadow Scout. Oh, no. You got two spells. That's yeah, bad. Yeah, there goes my Mask of um, the Accursed. Okay, I'll go with this. What the heck is this? Once per turn, you can toss a coin and go. This is the... Okay, so basically, yep. either you die or I die. <laughs> exactly. So this is the card that got me to top 100 KC Cup, by the way. So, Oh my god. Let's see. Okay, let's see it. I'm going to call heads. And I'm going to take it. And you take the 1,000. Okay, I need to read one card real quick. <laughs> what card are you reading? Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't work. So I'll do this. Oh, I'll burn for 1k. Yeah. My gosh. I, I'll do another I one. I think you might win this one because your deck is the much more proactive burn. Mm-hmm. 650 in. <sighs> is that going to go through? Sphere Karibo. Yeah. Okay, what about the second one? Econ. I, okay. I can't. Well, my monster's in defense, so I, I survive. Uh, we're gonna Mask of the Accursed. This is actually working. Oh no, that's bad. We will... <laughs> actually, you need to get rid of my, um, I bowl. know, that's kind of the problem, I can't. <laughs> oh, oh, look yeah, at no, this! I'm okay, let's start sure, with this. I'm pretty sure I lose here. So, which one always wins? Is it heads or tails? I mean, heads always shreds. All right, let's shred. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, burning land. Oh, so I lose anyways, because burning land. Yep, that's that's what I went for it. End phase. Um, I'm going to go out on my own turn. GG, no re. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Let me see my hand now. Okay, so you have 20 cards in your deck. Hey, oh. we got the lucky strike. Uh, this is not you cool. You have three parasites in your deck. Have fun. Wait, I, I have three parasites? What the? Three parasites. That's um, too many. Yeah, just remember, okay. if you uh, draw one of them parasites, mm -hmm. you're going to take a thousand. I see. So I got to boost myself real quick then. <laughs> okay. And then I'll set one. I'll activate my spell, Burning Land. Respectable. And I'll set one card and pass. Understood. Burning Land, huh? That is mm -hmm. a two-sided effect. It is. And I will pass but, the turn. But you're down by 1,500. You're passing? I'm passing. Okay. You take... I take 500. Mm. I'll set another card, and I'll pass my turn. Mm. Okay. I mainly wanted to get you back down to a threshold before we continued. Okay, so you take the 500 for the turn anyway, so I'm fine with yeah. that. Yeah. I'll set one pass. Man, I'm. this is just not a good matchup for me. Yo, I got something for you. No. I activate my oh, bottom can green. Oh, please draw two? Oh. Oh, shit. I did not. Uh, I want. Um, that's bad, actually. That's not cool. I wanted you to draw two. I want you to draw into the parasites. Yeah. I mean, if I draw two, into two parasites, I only summon one, anyway. True. Okay, another set card. It's. Oh my god, look at this hand. This is beautiful. I'll end my turn. Oh my gosh, look at this hand. It would be beautiful if I was playing anything other than a burn deck. 
Yo, check this out. Uh, Burning land number two. Okay. And I'll end my turn. You take 500? Yeah. That's fun. Um, well, end for a penny. <laughs> Alright. I'll discard. Show me that turn. parasite. Ooh, look at this card that I just. Dude. Okay, I have something in mind. If that happens, it's gonna be the funniest way to win. I'll start with Cup of Ace. Okay. Please draw two. You draw two, please. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I flip up my shadow scout. Oh, I already see where this is going. Yeah. You draw three. Sent it to the oh grave. Oh gosh, I'm gonna. And I'll flip up my shadow scout. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I died to death out. Deck out. <laughs> End phase. See ya, my good sir. Good game. GG's. Are you ready to get clapped? No, I'm not, so... Nope. <laughs> Any moment now, okay. Who goes okay. first? I think it's you. Ooh, oh, ooh! No. Oh, Look no. at this hand, dude! I'd okay, I'm gonna start with the a cup of ace. Wait, I, I should I should be drawing two. What wait, wait, I just realized that uh, I started with five cards in hand. Yeah, because of my skill, let's go. Wait, you're playing dual standby? Oh, you're insane, dude! I am, you're dude! Crazy. I am! Let's go! What the? What the? <laughs> for 500, what baby! What's happening right now? <laughs> yeah, you cracked! <laughs> let's go, let's go. I got oh this duel. Oh my Easy. god, you're insane, dude. Alright, yeah, alright. Let's see what you got. I gave you two, three extra cards, basically. You have to make a play. How do you have so many life points? You use Goblin Thief? I feel I like did. I'm a little overwhelmed with the amount of cards I have. I'm like, I should win this duel, right? Like, there's no reason maybe. for me not to. Bro, don't maybe me. What the hell? <laughs> um, oh, it all depends on the set card that I have. All right. All right. All right. You Hello. might want to go for, yeah, this dude. So you can yoink this face down. Any yoinkers in the chat? Let's see, what am I going to use here? Activate? Alright, if you're playing Burn, I'm going to go ahead and just like... Nah, dude, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing Burn, dude. Well, it's too late, we use the Sphere. <laughs> uh, I guess we gotta yeah, do defense position, because we're smart, and then... In defense? What the... Yoink. What do you got here? <laughs> Hero Shadow Scout, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Alright, Battle Phase. Oh, you saw one more? Okay, I'll take 14. Ha, you thought? No, okay, I actually okay. Did 14. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, did, did I just sugar his girl? Here we go! Yo, Ouch. take that 500, baby! You thought you got Goblin Thief? Yo, no! You take that, though! I needed that! <laughs> and I'll burn you for another, another 500. Another burning land that's broken! <laughs> Wait, I actually died! What the fuck did I do just now? Uh, you're dead! Don't you take, like, a, a bunch next turn? How much? Yeah? You take a thousand next turn. Wait, don't I just win? <laughs> you do. Let's go! New Ultra Rare! New oh, Valkyrie's oh, Rage is here! And it's top tier! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what if I MST? I don't have space for MST. <laughs> oh no! This is the card that kills you! Well, I have the card that kills you now! What the? Wish you could activate it. <laughs> Get burned. You take the burn first. And then I burn. Okay, I was about to say, do I, do I lose though? <laughs> I got scared. Maybe. Okay. Do I go first this time? Yeah. Okay, I'll try this one more time. Couple okay. face. Yo, let's go two cards, baby! Oh, you, you burned that, the fuck no! you, let's go. <laughs> oh no! I'll set one, burn you for 500 next turn and pass. Oh my god, that's freaking me out. Ow. Okay, well, uh, which one is the one that gives me a monster? <laughs> Ritual monster, okay. Alright, give me this. Activate. Okay. Give me this. And then... Okay. Activate. Oh no. No, dude, stop. Never. Use the sphere Ebola. 
Summon over here. Nuance mode. This feels very oh. familiar. It does. <laughs> what do you got down there? Oh, the four star ladybug, you mad lad. You crazy. Oh, Let's yeah. set this for now. And then okay. battle phase? Battle phase, okay. Ha, huh, you thought. Wait, wh wait, what did I think? <laughs> I know, but I was just repeating like last duel. Oh, true, 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 true. Okay, and that's actually the exact hand from last duel. <laughs> Check this out. Is that another burning land you got there? No, it's a Goblin Thief, because we didn't activate a turn Oh, one. okay. Oh my god. How many and then we have this. Oh my god, you're crazy. What do I take the damage, by the way? Is it on during my, my step? Oh, on your turn. Once per turn, during your standby phase. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. All right. That means well, you have a twister and I lose. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, so, <laughs> Wild Tornado, baby. New card, by the way. This is a new box. Trust uh, me. <laughs> and now for the ultimate combo. The bird and the, the thousand no, heads. Dude. I don't even have anything left to search with it. <laughs> wow. Um, but just for the, for, for the meme so you can see what I was playing. Storm. <laughs> Yep. What the <laughs> I went what I the had heck, I went for Wild Tornado and Storm uh, combo. <laughs> Wait, so Storm is available at 3 now? Yeah, cuz Odeon yeah. you could it, it drops it. That's insane. Yeah. GG. You actually had me down low Dude, life points geez. each of those duels. Like if it wasn't yeah, for I didn't, a couple I just, base whiffing, then yeah. I actually probably would have lost that. <laughs> I whiffed every couple of phase, dude. Restructor evolution or whatever is toxic. Might, I'm so glad that I card might got be trying this one. I might try. I might, I might be trying this deck next episode. Yeah, honestly, like your luck's got to turn around by next episode. There's no way you can just keep whiffing couple of base. <laughs> oh man, good games, good games. GG, GG.